Well, howdy diddly down do there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. And today, Charms, I'm doing a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. Hope you got your mugs and your Captain Steve's brew at the ready. But anyway, what am I talking about today? I'm going to be talking a little bit about something that Sean Murray said. So in his deep dive off Worlds Part 1, he said something rather curious around bringing technology back from the future. And what he means by that is what he's got in light, no fire is making its way into No Man's Sky. We thought it would. We thought some of what's in No Man's Sky would make it into Light No Fire. I mean, you can tell that from the game engine and you can see how the creatures take off and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of things from No Man's Sky that have gone into Light No Fire. But likewise, things that are from Light No Fire that are going to improve or enhance No Man's Sky are coming over. And we saw that with Sean's sort of deep dive with the water effects and the particle effects. Here's what Sean had to say. had to create a lot of new technology. New water technology can create waves and reflections, oceans. It looked so different to what we had before. Ocean planets feel completely new and ships can now land on water. Six months ago, we announced Light No Fire. It's this crazy, ambitious game, and we've been working on it for years, and we've learned so many things, and it feels like we're, we're almost bringing this technology back from the future. Planets have wind patterns, waves are dynamic, and they react to the weather. Okay, so then when you look at the trailer for Light No Fire, I mean, I'll play the trailer now. I will have to replace the music with my own music. But just try to spot things that you might think. With your eye peepers, a little bit of a game here, people. What you might think would make it from Light No Fire into No Man's Sky. And then I'm going to give you mine. So here we go. Two minutes. Let's rewatch the trailer. You've probably seen it, but keep those eye peepers peeled. Look for things. ba 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 that you think might come over to No Man's Sky. Okay, let's enjoy the trailer. Okay, now I did spot that there was quite a lot of movement in the trees and in all the foliage and all that sort of stuff and particle effects. We've got all that now in Worlds Part 1. That's already been lifted and shifted. Not to mention all the lovely water effects lifted and shifted. Brilliant. At the start, 
there was an octopus in the ocean with all of its tentacles moving. And it, bloop, bloop. Brilliant. I think we might be getting octopus models coming into game. And I'll touch on to why I think that might be the case in a bit. Also, there was a bit of combat. You see them firing an arrow at some sort of like cow type looking thing or a deer or something. And then you see a sword swipe hitting like a giant crab or a small crab. And there's a giant crab in the background. I think we might be getting those crab models coming into game as well. So both of these creatures that I just mentioned, the octopus blah, blah, and the crab, now, I might as well do a couple of impressions of both, <laughs> just in case you don't know what a crab is, or an octopus. <laughs> okay. I think they're coming into game. Reason being, is inside of our fishing catalogues right now, if you go and look in your own fishing catalogue and look at the creatures that we've been catching on the old rods, there are octopuses. We don't have models inside a game for octopuses yet. We do have the tentacles that come out of the ground, but we don't have sea octopuses. We've got little squids and jellyfish, but they're not octopuses. That was an octopus inside of Light No Fire. I think that's going to make its way in. Also, we do have crabs inside a game right now, but that crab looked really cool, didn't it? The crab. <laughs> so I'm hoping that gets lifted and shifted too. It does leave a couple of creatures inside of our fishing catalogue yet that don't have models, like the giant manta rays. But that bomber boy actually found inside the game files. Rays. Take a look at this. So yes, that Bomber Boy found rays inside of the game files and looks like they're going to get different patinations and some of those patinations match the patinations inside of the fishing catalogue. So that's something to note, isn't it? Other things that we don't have right now is snails. It'd be cool to have snails inside of caves as well, wouldn't it, to be fair? All glowy snails and things. Yeah, anyway, snails. Starfish, we do have starfish on rocks. The model actually exists inside of games, but it's not separated from the rocks. So maybe they might put some starfish in. And then there is a form of squid. Oh yeah, we've kind of got little squiddy things inside a game, but they don't look as cool as that squid. So I think maybe they might add in some squid models, giant varieties of squid, which would make sense if we get deeper oceans, wouldn't it? Yes, maybe we might be able to do battle with these giant squids. I mean, that bomber boy inside the game files again did find that you can do battle with a giant sort of jellyfish, the child of Helios, which does look kind of fun in, this, in a roundabout way as well. So. All these sort of things I think have been found or there could be references to them. Now I'm also thinking inside of the actual fishing catalogue we've got all these sort of bits of debris you know like the old boot we've got um, some flotsam, some coral, some weed, some tangleweed. It'd be nice if if we are given the ability to build our own aquarium it'd be nice if you can actually set the perimeter and the depth and all that sort of stuff and put your fish in It'd be nice if those items, those flotsams, the, the old boot or whatever, we could add as ornaments inside of our aquarium. I think that'd be quite cool, as well as base parts, perhaps. You know, like the crashed and uh, the crashed ships that we've got given inside the game files. That look great in a freaking aquarium, wouldn't it? Let's face it. Heck yeah. So I'm wondering whether those crashed ship parts that we got anyway, I mean, they've all got tangled weed around them anyhow. They kind of look like they belong in an aquarium or in some sort of marshy planet add those in for the actual aquariums. So I think we might get aquariums. It's not from Light No Fire, is it? But, you know. <laughs> anyway, back to what I think might be lifted and shifted from Light No Fire, though, is inside of that trailer, you see a giant golem. It looks like it's got a knowledge stone for a head and it lifts it up and you see all the water beating down from its head. Well, I'm wondering where we might get some sort of giant sort of mechy type golem thing come to no man's sky because again that bomber boy found this inside of the game files yeah he found a giant traveler golem type looking thing and at the moment it hasn't got no hitbox we don't know whether it moves we don't know whether it's animated but the one inside of Light No Fire is, even though it just lifts its head. We don't know whether it does more than that. It's got a very Jason and the Argonauts type feel to it, hasn't it? When that giant statue comes to life. It'd be so cool to have something like that inside of No Man's Sky, perhaps on these new relic planets that we think we might be getting. And inside of that Light No Fire trailer, there's lots of relic-y bits and bobs that we saw in some of the early No Man's Sky footage that look very similar in tone and vibe. And I'm wondering, we know that we're going to get relic planets come into No Man's Sky from the data mining. 
So does it mean that maybe some of what we're seeing in Light No Fire, when we look at the relics there, might appear in No Man's Sky to give some sort of game connotation and link? I really don't know. What I do know though is I'm extremely excited for what Hello Games has got in store for us for the rest of the year. One, Shaun of the Murrays said, we've called this Worlds Part 1, because there's more to come. Yeah, take a listen. The update is called Worlds Part 1 because I guess there's, there's much more to come. So I'm hoping, perhaps, I mean, he didn't say that we're going to get this in this year, you know, that hopefully we will get Worlds Part 2 drop later this year. I'm also thinking that there was four parts to an ARG, and the Void Mother has been sort of like paramount and central to that ARG. I'm hoping that we get that this October. I'm thinking we might get the Void Mother and the Void Mother lore October, and then we might get Worlds Part 2, maybe after the Reduxes and maybe in the new year. I know that might upset a few people, but I'm just wondering, especially if they are looking to add in all these fish models, aquariums as well. A speculation territory, that, you know. But let's just see what gets delivered in. Now, the reason why I think we might not get the Worlds Part 2 this year is because I honestly do think inside of the Game Awards this year in December, the first week of December is when the Game Awards comes out, the exact date I'll put on the screen if I can find it, but it would be a year to the day that they released the trailer for Light No Fire. And I'm hoping we get to see another trailer for Light No Fire at this year's Game Awards. That would make sense. That makes logical sense. That's what my gut's telling me. That's what my mind's telling me. I don't want to get people too sort of stoked up in seeing a trailer for the Game Awards, but that's what all my notions and vibers and my body are telling me right now. Okay? So hopefully we get to see that happen. I think Hello Games is probably getting ready for that i'd imagine also the playstation 5 pro launches on november 7th so november 7th when the playstation 5 releases i honestly think that hello games has to do something with no man's sky because they've already let on that they're working on the playstation 5 pro version if you look at the store right now at the playstation it says it's getting an enhanced version so we know that it's there or it's being worked on so uh, hopefully we're going to get some sort of uplift in graphical fidelity for the playstation 5 but i also think that some of whatever they do for the playstation 5 might rub off on other platforms especially next gen so the xbox series x and maybe the playstation 5 base model i'm hoping that they get a little bit of a lift in graphical fidelity you know and it might even go down even further than that you might see a little bit of an uplift in other areas on other platforms let's keep our fingers crossed for that one and maybe even VR is a bit of an uplift too. But we'll see. We'll see what that brings. But Hello Games right now must be extremely busy because they've got the PlayStation 5. They've got Light No Fire. They've got Wells Part 2. They've got three massive things that they're working on when you think about it. And it's still a relatively small team. So I'm excited for the rest of the year and I hope Hello Games can pull it off. Hello Games as a studio I think needs more eyes on them. You know, they're, they're not like a AAA studio in the same realms as UBI or EA Games and, you know, all the others out there. They're kind of fringing on indie that are delivering games that you could almost consider as being triple I mean, I, I loved Last Campfire. If you haven't seen The Last Campfire and you're looking for a game to play between now and between when Hello Games drops their next update for No Man's Sky, Hit up Light No Fire. I think you're going to love it. It's very whimsical. It's very charming. Anyway, I've got a whole playlist on um, Last Campfire. Hit it up. Go and take a look. See if it's for you. But anyway, people, that's pretty much everything that I've got for you in today's episode. I think they are bringing some bits over from Light No Fire into No Man's Sky. I mean, that's already evidential. Sean Murray has already said it. That bit's factual. Will they bring over those exact models? I think if they've got something similar and they've already got the skeletons for the octopus and how it moves, they could quite easily do something similar over in No Man's Sky. Okay, so there we go. I think everything that I said has realms of possibility. Is there something I missed? Have I missed something, people? Because if I have, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you've seen that I did not see that you think might make it into No Man's Sky. And I hope you enjoyed this little game of trying to spot stuff with your eye peepers inside of that trailer. It's a fun little exercise, wasn't it? Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I'm off to drink my lovely captain's brew. I guess you can get it too. Link in video description. Or you can get this lovely mug. See you later, people. Bye-bye.